All right, with just a little over a week till the kick-off of the Rugby League World yes. Cup, the chance may come for some of the current crop of New Zealand players to solidify themselves as local heroes. Te Kuiti has its pine tree statue. Halberg has his very own awards ceremony. Now to rival it, Huntley has acknowledged their local legends in traditional Huntley fashion by tagging them on a wall. <laughs> Huntley, famous for the top twins, the Decker sign. Chika chika. Those huge power poles that stick out of nowhere. And now, three gorgeous ex-athletes. Behold. Thousands gathered to get a glimpse of their local heroes, now immortalised by a local artist, who I've labelled the Picasso of the Waikato. You've actually nailed a few things in there, obviously. Me with the headgear, T with the mullet, and Lance with the imprint of, of a punch on his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Lance was the hardest one to paint, eh? I reckon I didn't really um, get him right, but you, you were the easiest one to paint. Well, he looks what like first time. He looks exactly like Frodo, so that's a true likeness. <laughs> it's special to be put up on a wall, right? Well, it certainly is. Why, um, you know, we're really privileged. Uh, the local boys coming from Huntley, uh, representing our country, and now to have a picture of uh, me, you, and Lance on the wall forever, you know, emblazoned in Huntley is, is a pretty huge privilege. Well, first off, let me just say that the mural doesn't do you justice. You're much better looking in real life, but how does it feel to be immortalised with some of the legends of Huntley? Oh, hey, stop it. Obviously, you're correct. I'm, I'm much better looking than the mural, but yes, it is a, it's a huge honour to be immortalised alongside some legends like Tawara, Lance, and now myself, also a legend. You're welcome. You're welcome, Huntley. Good bit of excitement for the community as uh, as we roll into the World Cup. Oh, certainly has been. Why? Uh, I don't know if you were at the Rakhomanga, your old school there yesterday. The Kiwis went down there. Mate, they just got swamped by all your um, all your nephews and nieces down there at uh, Rakhomanga. Probably trying to steal their shoes. Yeah, well, they, no, no, they weren't doing that. But <laughs> apparently they, they stayed a half an hour longer because they loved it so much. They were signing autographs and with the kids down there. And I suppose it just really emphasised how important rugby league is in our communities. I think the classic song lyrics of fellow famous Huntleyans really captured the spirit of the mural in all its glory. We we're untouchable, untouchable girls. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice. Yeah. <laughs> that is so cute. Huntley's had some really good stories from us. We've, got, we've been tagging on their walls. We've done burnouts in their car park. So classic, we love Huntley. Classic Friday night in Huntley then. Exactly. Yeah, How does yeah. it feel to be immortalised on a wall like that? Actually, I was very privileged. And, he, and, and Bobby McDonald, the guy who, paint, who, who drew it up, did it in three days, I think he, he said. Uh, he, he did a really good job. Really good job. It, it's, it's, really, it's actually quite flattering, especially being... It's flattering for you because you've got your helmet on. Yeah, well, yeah, it's true. Yeah, they don't see the receding hairline. Yeah, yeah, but no, I mean, right, being right next to the top twins as well, and the top ten, the twins are iconic. You know, I'm not, there's heaps of Kiwis that come out of come out of uh, Huntley. I was just lucky to be one of the three that's on the wall. So that's awesome. So Huntley might be one of our favoured small towns in New Zealand. Remember there was a song. What was wrong with Huntley? Yeah, I never that's got my that home song. Country or something like that. Yeah. Uh, I think Morrinsville might be the next favourite one.